it something different today. Um, this is one of those expensive, nasty pieces of tap from China that you see making up sort of modelled villages uh, in uh, stores over, you know, before Christmas. Um, this particular one you may recognise, it's the uh, spinning carousel that uh, pushes you against the side and then will tilt up uh, whilst it's spinning. Now the symptoms were uh, weak audio and uh, stalling of the uh, the spinning uh, and uh, I originally, I, I, this is a friend of a friend, I wouldn't look at this sort of thing normally but uh, I was trying to do my friend a favour whose neighbour I think has got some sentimental attachment uh, to this uh, plus I think it cost him about 130 quid so yeah really not my uh, sort of thing however um, before Christmas I took it apart had a closer look yes I broke the power supply open assuming it was probably duff caps uh, it wasn't the uh, output was absolutely fine uh, eventually traced it to a faulty motor there are two tiny little motors uh, fitted in here you can see one on there uh, it's a little pulley operated system and on this side there's some gears linked to that pulley and this is the mechanism that tilts the uh, carousel up uh, just a word of caution these are horribly cheaply made uh, you are very likely to be snapping bits uh, whilst you work on these. I've already snapped a bit of this fencing off. It's very, very brittle. I suspect a little drop of soup glue or hot milk glue is going to be required in a couple of places. Um, anyway, so as I say, I have had this since before Christmas. Uh, eventually managed to track down some tiny little... DC motors in China. I will put the links in for that. Now these have a, a two mil shaft and um, I actually took the motor apart I mean, probably again before Christmas um, and now I've managed to get these motors. It took about two or three weeks from uh, China uh, and they actually come with the uh, plug uh, that actually does fit the socket on the PCB. Uh, let me show you that. Uh, you can see there's an empty socket there uh, uh, and everything's good and then I realised that I'd taken the pulley off of the old motor and I've no idea where I've put the bloody thing. Uh, so yeah I was going to design one in uh, Fusion 360 and then I had a look on Amazon and you can buy bags of gears and pulleys uh, for you know like seven or eight quid now I had these arrive earlier um, but they are not the right size some of the sizes are not very clear on Amazon but uh, so that's that uh, but I think the one that is going to do it is this one because I can see gears perhaps there which are very very close to being the right size. Now, I'm going to have a quick look at this. <laughs> it said it came with uh, what they describe as belts. Uh, now I'm not sure I can describe elastic bands <laughs> as belts. So um, yeah, not, uh, not entirely sure on that one. But we have a massive selection of gears, well, uh, actually they're not gears, they're pulleys with gears, uh, all sorts of different sizes um, and that is bigger than 2 mil. I'm suspecting the one I need is this one here. Um, it looks very similar to the size, actually I say that it looks, that one's got an even smaller one than that, so let's have a look. The smaller this one is, the slower it will spin. I think I might 
just see if one of these will go on. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got loads of that size. Let's see if we can press one on. I'm hoping it will go on just fine. Just need to press it on enough so the groove lines up with the uh, with the other piece. Let's have a look. Yep. Uh, that's pretty close. Now the original belt may not do the job now if that is different size and you know what that is going to be absolutely fine may even put a little blob of super glue in uh, in there don't think we're going to have any issues it might need to go on just a tiny little bit more actually um, but the video, this video is not to uh, show the repair of this I mean it's, it's a couple of DC motors and a wall adapter and a speaker. There is a volume control uh, here and there's also LEDs all over the place including uh, in here around this uh, tower here and around this bit here. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that if you ever do lose a gear there are some uh, pretty good options on, uh, on Amazon. It can certainly save you a lot of faffing around in Fusion and then 3D printing that stuff out. And uh, oh, that's just fallen off of there. That we don't want to lose. Now, oh, bugger, which way around did that go? There we go. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, so what I'll do now is I'll just reassemble this and I'll probably just show it to you uh, working in a few minutes, hopefully. Okay, uh, after a lot of faffing around, um, this lift arrangement works with a micro switch and a leaf switch and it will lift it up, trigger the leaf switch uh, and then leave it up there for a while and then it uh, goes back down again, triggers the micro switch, pauses and you know, up and down it goes. Um, in fact, the super glue various bits back in place. Um, a lot of the wires just fell off. The uh, wires that uh, light up the LEDs or connect to the LEDs around here broke. That was a pain in the ass to solder back onto the, uh, the thin film uh, that the uh, LEDs are on. But uh, this is what you get. Oops, that didn't sound good. <laughs> right, <laughs> back with this. So I don't know whether I'll include the second clip where I actually started this up after super gluing the bloody thing back together. But it started spinning, playing the music, uh, lifted up and it was clunking away uh, <laughs> because uh, during assembly another wire fell off. The uh, little switch that senses the fully up position, one of the wires had uh, broken. They really are terrible. So I've literally had to crack this open, uh, damaging all sorts of little bits. Uh, might have to try and paint that uh, yellow, um, but I've uh, saved it and uh, this time I'll show you what it's supposed to do. There you go, this sort of thing uh, can be repaired. The motors, uh, well, there's two in this one, I'm sure other models will have one, two, three motors, depending on the complexity. Very, very cheap from China if you can wait two or three weeks. Expect multiple broken wires as you uh, mess around with these uh, things and expect to do a little bit of damage uh, here and there, but uh, depending on its value and whether it's got sentimental value then it may well be worth um, saving so uh, yeah there we go all done finally <laughs> 
hopefully I won't have to uh, work on another one again. <laughs>